Hey guys, this feels odd. It feels like I haven't filmed properly for a very, very long time. It's probably only been about a week of not really filming, but it feels a lot longer. Basically, I've just sorted out my memory card finally, because I, I know I've been banging on to you guys about I'm so behind and I've got so much, you know, so many videos in the pipeline. Recently, I've been about a month later, so I post a video and you guys are like, oh, I can't believe that was from a month ago. So I've just sorted out my memory card and I have eight public videos and I have about three members videos filmed. So I've got a lot and at the moment I'm sort of posting at a rate of two videos a week. So basically those eight videos will last me the next four weeks. So probably you're not going to see this clip until September. However, it's currently the 1st of August. Um, Keegan is at rugby training and I'm just cooking dinner. Tonight we have a tomato and king prawn orzo. Um, I'm just about to add some roasted veg to it, but that's cooking. My camera battery's flashing. Let me just replace it because I feel like I want to catch up with you guys. I've got some things to say. There we go. I've replaced the battery. This is the bathroom, the current state of the bathroom. Um, we've been doing this all ourselves, basically. Um, and I say ourselves, mainly Keegan, because Keegan used to be a joiner, so he knows how to do things like this, like put plasterboard on the walls and tiling. We've done one wall so far, but tomorrow, we're gonna be spending all day doing this. So yeah, I, I'm sort of learning as I go along because I've always wanted to learn how to do some tiling because when I eventually get my own sort of investment property, I'll, I wanna do lots of the work myself. In terms of books, an update on books, I am having a break from my fantasy series. You guys will know that I've been reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, that whole series, that's book one. I've read four and the fifth book is upstairs. And for some reason, I just wanted to have a little break. Not because I didn't enjoy it, like I naturally wanted to move straight onto the next one, but I was like, let's just like bury it up a bit and like get really excited again for the final book. Although I don't think it's the final book, but it's the final book that's out at the moment, but apparently she's writing more. Anyway, a change of pace. I've gone from fantasy to sort of crime thriller, which I love a crime thriller. Coming to find you, I'm very nearly done with it and it's very, very good. And the reason I like it, because I like a crime thriller and I like things set in the 1940s. I mean, I like things historical ones regardless, but some of you will know that I read a book called The Clockmaker's Wife set during one of the world wars and I loved it. And ever since then, I've been looking for something like that. I didn't even know that this one was going to be set in 1940s, but yeah, it bounces between 2023 and the 1940s. It's about murder and all those sorts of things. And I love it. Oh, and Keegan is home and I need to finish off dinner. I just burnt myself. <sighs> See, I'm not quite the domestic goddess yet. Hey guys, I don't know what vlog this is going into, but this will be part of a, a weekly vlog, I'm sure. But I've realized there's so much in my house that I actually haven't shown you guys that I've bought over the last few months. And I'm like, oh, I need to remember to film that. Oh, I need to remember to film that. So I'm going to show you. Some of you guys might not be interested, some of you might. When I was in America, when we went to Universal, I saw these in the Universal shop, and I just had to get them. They're notebooks, and they're all Harry Potter themed, so I've got a history of magic, and they're just lined notebooks, um, but they're made to look like the textbooks from the Harry Potter world. So, a history of magic. Hogwarts A History, which I think is my favorite one. Lovely. I also love this advanced potion making. And then I have Tales of Beedle the Bard in my backpack, but I'm currently using that, so I won't show you because I can't bother to get my backpack out. Ava, do you have to? But yeah, they were so good. I mean, they were $25 each, so they weren't cheap, but they're not just notebooks, but they're like things to display, aren't they? So I want to display these on a shelf when I eventually get bookshelves. I probably won't be in this house, in my future home, have all my antique books out, all my normal books out, and then these displayed. I mean, my friend Cherry Wallace, she has this and the History of Magic, or, or maybe it's Hogwarts of History actually, like an actual textbook. Like there's an artist out there who basically made this book, like made it, all the pages and everything, like the actual real one. But I think he got like, or threatened to be sued by Warner Brothers or something and so he doesn't make them anymore and I'm just dying to get one but I don't think he makes them anymore unless he does it on the sly which I don't think he does but anyway she's got like the real textbook anyway other things to show you so this room's a bit of a mess at the moment because of the bathroom we've got there's a sink in here there's the drawers so it's a bit don't judge don't judge the mess so I went through a stage <laughs> well there's I wanted 
to get a couple of nice pieces of my own for the house. And I want things with meaning as well. Like, as much as I love Ikea, we've just bought our wardrobes from Ikea. Love Ikea. It's great. However, it's it's soulless, isn't it? It's meaningless. It's mass-produced. Everyone has the same thing. It's not very unique. And that is why I love antiques. Because they're almost, they're not quite one of a kind. Although, they could be. So anyway, I bought a couple of antiques. And one of them is up here in my office, which I don't know what to do with. And one of them is downstairs on display. So I'm going to show you this one. So, on the corner of my desk, next to my self love poster <laughs> and my voiceover career planner I have this vase I don't know what you want to call it it's like a flower pot it's made of metal and all I know about it is it's from India and they've got these beautiful like Indian paintings on the side and it's a little bit faded uh, because it's so old I don't know anything else about it I got it from an auction house and they didn't know a huge amount about it and I cannot for the life of me remember how much I paid for this I mean it was under a hundred pounds but anyway I love it I need to find a plant to put in it first of all and secondly like I don't know if you can tell on camera yeah you can it's quite dull and it's even duller in real life than it is on camera. Those colours are popping a bit more on camera. And I'm like, I would love to polish this because it's brass. But I'm afraid that if I polish this, the colour will come off. And I really, really do not want the colour to come off. So I'm thinking I might just leave it as it is. But honestly, guys, on camera it's coming up a bit brighter. In real life, this is very, very dull. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. So I might Google it. <laughs> But if any of you guys know anything about that sort of thing, let me know in the comments. I've got a feeling I should leave it alone and not polish it up because, yeah, I don't want to lose the colour. But anyway, I really love it. I just think, I know what some of you will think. You'll think this is so ugly. And I get it. And in this setting on my desk, it is quite ugly because it's on like a mass produced like oak desk, a very nice oak desk. But it's like, it doesn't fit, does it? The ultra modern with the ultra antique. But in the right place, in my forever home, that will be a lovely addition. And I've, I've got the vision for it. I don't quite know when and where it will go, but I know it will go somewhere. But let me show you the next antique. So the next one is, I bid on this when I was on the bus during our Edinburgh trip, when me and Leah went to Edinburgh with some of our viewers. And we were on the bus and I was in a bidding war for this. So on our shelves, oh, the book has fallen over, Akatar. Look, it's a cow. Well, he's a bull and he's very big. Look, compared to my hand, like he's, he's quite big, he's quite hefty. Let me switch the cow for the camera. Now, I again, I was on an antique website, a bidding website, and I was like looking for some antiques. Lots of them don't actually tickle my pickle. I'm very fussy. And the vase tickled my pickle and so did he. Because A, I love cows. I've got a soft spot for cows. I was vegetarian for two years and all throughout my life, even though I've only been veggie for two years of my life, I have been like, I don't eat beef. Out of all the animals, I don't eat beef because I love cows so much and, and I also don't like the taste of beef. However, Occasionally now, I might have beef. Anyway, that's by the by. This isn't about me eating beef or not. This is about my cow. Since moving to Yorkshire, every single dog walk I do, we walk through cows and cows and cows and cows. We walk through fields of cows constantly. And so this to me is sort of like, A, I love cows anyway, but B, it's synonymous with my life up here in Yorkshire because I'm more connected to cows. Anyway, so this, I've, I've got the details somewhere online, guys, but I haven't memorized them, which I probably should. I can't remember the make of it, but this is like a Swedish, or actually, maybe it's Danish. I think it's a Danish make. And um, he was very expensive, and I should not have paid what I paid for him. You'll think it's just a ceramic cow. It can't be that expensive. When I told Leah what I paid for it, she was like, how big's the cow? And I was like, oh, about this big. And she was like, I thought you were meaning like a huge cow. But you know what, guys? This is going to be my heirloom. And yeah, I don't have any children to pass it down to. If I stay with Keegan for the rest of my life, then maybe I'll pass it down to Taylor and Fletcher. Who knows? <laughs> They'll be like, what? They laugh at me because I like talk to the cow and like I'm always like, oh, thank goodness my antique cow's still here. And they're like, no one's going to steal your cow. And I'm like, they might. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love him. And he is... My one and only thing on this shelf, really, that's also what made me realise is that Keegan's got all sorts of things on this shelf. A K, bookends, vases, things like this, this weird dog. Um, just trinkets. He, he loves little 
bits and I don't. So I don't have any bits. So I was like, I need something to put on the shelf. So that was a motivation as well. The only other thing I have is these two, which you might remember from my vlog for my birthday in York last year. I found these in a shop. They're a salt and pepper shaker. I think he's pepper and she's salt. I don't actually use them for salt and pepper, but I just leave them there. Anyway, I think that is it. I think that, but those things have been on my mind. I was like, oh yeah, I was gonna tell, I was gonna tell everyone about that, but I, I just haven't. So there we go. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my bathroom. I am very excited this morning because I am going to my tribe class again. I should have started this just as I'm brushing my teeth. That's ridiculous. Because now I can't talk to you. Hold on. Teeth are done, hair is done. You might think, why are you getting, if you're going to the gym, why are you getting ready like this? But if I was going to the gym gym, I would go unshowered, I would go, you know, without doing my hair and things like that. Well, I would still go without doing my hair, but it didn't take long, did it? I just chuck something in it. However, this is like a gym class and you never know how, I mean, it's never normally that busy, but the last thing I wanna do is be working out next to somebody, like, cause it is quite close proximity, and then being like, this guy stinks. So, King's always like, why are you showering before you go to the gym? I'm like, because I don't want to smell. I don't want to be the smelly one in the class. So I'd rather just have two showers today, one before the gym and one after. That reminds me, I need a towel, cause I'm gonna shower at the gym. I am packing laptop and a towel. Here we go, here's the other one that I didn't show you, the Tales of Beetle the Part which is lovely and I'm using that for work. I looked at my calendar and the last time I did a tribe class was the 8th of July and it's now the 8th of August, so I haven't been for a month, which just shows you how much has been going on. Basically, I think during that month, I've been to the New Forest, London, had that whole week of being away from home. Then the following week, I've, I've had my parents visit. I've been back and forth to London a couple of times. Um, over the last two weeks, been working on the bathroom. So it's just been, I've not really had the time to drive into Leeds and go to a gym class. I've not even had the time to go to the gym gym, my, the actual gym with like weights, like a normal gym. I mean, I, last time I went to the gym was probably two, well, I went yesterday, but before that, I probably went two weeks ago. Yeah, it's just really nice to get back into looking after myself physically. I'm really excited. I just love this little routine, guys. Like, I really got into a pattern of once a week, driving into Leeds. As you'll see, I get myself a little energy drink. I have a walk around, I get there really early, so I walk around the city, and then I go to my gym class, get showered, get changed, got my laptop, I then go to a cafe, and then do some work, which I will show you. The number one rule of vlogging, and I tell everyone when they start out, I told Keegan when he started out, was show, don't tell. Show, don't tell. And what am I doing right now? I'm telling. I should be showing. Stay tuned for showing. Oh my gosh, that is not what you wanna see before a gym class. I want them. Last week, Keegan and I came on a date night into Leeds. We went to a really nice restaurant around here because it was our one year anniversary, but even though it was like two months late, Everything just kept getting in the way. We went to Florida just after our anniversary and then just everything has sort of been non-stop since then. So yeah, we were celebrating a little bit late, but yeah, that was really nice. First stop is to get an energy drink. So I'm gonna go for this mango one, which I've not had before. I don't tend to drink energy drinks at any other time or any other workout, but a big hit class like this, I do feel like I need the boost of a coffee and an energy drink. Although the caffeine content is probably similar between a coffee and one of these, but it's just a little bit different, isn't it? Something nice and fruity, and it means I won't have coffee breath during the workout, because again, I'm self-conscious about like, <laughs> as a people pleaser, again, I'm just going, oh, I don't want to inconvenience anyone by breathing heavily on the treadmill and breathing coffee breath over everyone, which is probably a nice thing that I'm considerate. However, this building's nice. Look at that, never seen that before, wow. By the way, if you go for energy drinks, look for ones with zero sugar because you don't want energy from sugar. You want energy from caffeine and the other stuff they put in it. You don't want all the calories. Oh, that looks nice down there. Should we have a look? Let's explore. See, they don't build buildings with this much detail anymore. And I don't know why, because it's so nice. But look, there's a little park. Very nice. Wow. I mean, I'll do some Googling afterwards. It looks like it's called St. Paul's House, but I imagine it's just offices, but I love it. And right opposite, you've got this nice park. Some nice Victorian houses or offices along there as well. I actually remember now, I have walked down here. I've, I've 
just turned off the square and look, I think this is the big town hall. See, this is a nice part of Leeds. There we go. I said that as if Leeds isn't nice, but it is. Like the center of Leeds is full of modern buildings and like shops and things like that, but that's just not what I'm after. I'm after all of the history and all of the traditional buildings. It is a nice city. It's just, uh, I like to hunt for like the historic areas rather than the new modern city centers. I often daydream about what it would be like if I had a normal nine to five job. Like what would Joel would who worked in an office look like because I just walked past a really nice place called Love Food which I was like yes I do um, and it did like halloumi wraps and like Lebanese food and I was like oh they're just getting ready for the lunchtime rush I suppose even though it's only 9 30 but they're busy cooking it wasn't open yet and I was like oh I wonder how many people get food from there on their lunch breaks because this is where lots of offices are and I was like oh I bet I would I'd go there if I had, a, had an office job but I'm like, oh, I've never, ever, ever worked in an office, ever. I've had other jobs, obviously, other than just creating content online, but never, never an office job. Never had to wear a suit for work. I've always been self-employed, freelance, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad I'm not, but I just think what life would have been like if I had worked my way up in a company. I'd probably have more friends, that's for sure. I tell you what, moving to a new city as an adult, when you're self-employed, <laughs> is really difficult because I just don't, like you just don't make friends in the same way. You need like clubs or you need work or things like that. Um, it is very hard. I mean, that's part of the reason I started doing some hit classes, mainly because I enjoy it, but I was always like, oh, it might be an opportunity to like make some friends because one of my best friends I made from Orange Theory. I started going to Orange Theory in London years ago and I became like best mates with one of the coaches, Vero, who sadly now moved back to the US. So. I never see her anymore, but we still stay in touch. But yeah, I was like, wow, she's like <laughs> one of my closest friends. And that was just from joining a gym class. So I was trying to replicate that, I suppose. But so far, no, I've not spoken to a single person in this gym class. So never mind. Look at that. Heifer and Sons Horse and Carriage Repository. Is that like an olden days taxi, <laughs> taxi place? I've just finished, guys. I've had a shower. I can tell I haven't been for months. That was so, so tough. Oh, I need a coffee immediately. That was such a hard session. Not just because I haven't been before, but I did legs yesterday at the gym after two weeks of nothing. So my legs are on fire today. And then today's session was a leg session. So I'm like hobbling down the street, <laughs> walking. Oh, I just saw a rat go behind that bin. Ew. But yeah, that was really, really tough. Also, the coach today, she was very good. I mean, I've had four coaches since being there and they've, Three of them have been really, really great. The first one I ever had was less good. But yeah, Alice today, she was great and she was very, she didn't let anyone get away with anything. So she's like, harder, faster. <laughs> and usually stuff like that doesn't motivate me. I like to be complimented. If someone went, Joel, you're doing incredible, then I'd, I'd work really hard. But if someone shouts at me, I normally don't work hard. But for some reason today, I was in the mood for being shouted at and it worked. <sighs> right, time to go to my favorite coffee shop. And I love it because I don't have to talk to anyone. Just do it on here. It's ridiculous. In London, this would be rammed. It's 11 a.m. on a weekday and it's empty. My favorite. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little waffling and showing you all the bits and bobs. It's a little bit of a life update, wasn't it? There was just lots of things I was like, I need to tell my, my viewers that. I need to tell my online friends everything that's going on, things I've bought, little chit chat. Oh gosh, look at my hair. I have just had a shower, so I haven't done my hair yet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I post videos every single week if you're not subscribed. Obviously you can't subscribe twice. I wish you could, but you can't. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.